Thanks for tuning in Action Trailers Tutorials. I'm Shane Thompson and today's tutorial is going to be in our Sub-Zero Impact All Aluminum Dual Purpose Trailer. Today's tutorial we're going to educate you on the vast differences between our Sub-Zero lineup compared to all the other trailer manufacturers out there, such as Neo, Legend, other local trailer manufacturers, that all, all are gonna tell you that they have the best trailer. And really, what is the best? What's affordable? What features do you need? That's what we're gonna talk about today in this tutorial here. So with so many trailers to choose from, you wanna know the differences. Whether you're educated trailer consumer or you're just starting off, the main thing is how's your product different? And is this the best bang for your buck there for it? So the lineup behind me, you're gonna see a lot of standard features that other companies are gonna charge extra for. And that's why you wanna really pay attention to of what these differences are. Most trailers are gonna come with screwless exterior, LED lights, those are all just standard options nowadays. All wheel braking, there's nothing, again, unusual about that. What's different about these trailers behind me, well, one is they're all aluminum, so they're never gonna rust, which a lot of trailer manufacturers are now going towards, which I'd highly recommend towards you to buy an all aluminum trailer. We live in Ontario, salt, calcium chloride on the roads, the trailers are going to rust, so definitely go aluminum. They're lighter weight, easier to tow at the end of the day there. And trailers like behind me this size, they only weigh 2,500 pounds. So you can even pull them with SUVs and that sort of thing. You don't need always big pickup trucks to tow them. But the differences between these models here is they come featured out with pretty much everything you're going to need. And that's why we do this model. It, it just comes loaded up. The way you see them behind me is what you get. You can change the color and customize whether you want a two-tone or a single slash. But that's all, again, up to whatever your preference is, but it doesn't cost extra. You'll see there's a really cool blackout package we put on all these models. So it's blackout trim, blackout fenders, blackout cam bars. It's a really cool feature that d differentiates your trailer from John's or Bob's trailer there the next door. And you can see with it, it really looks sharp. All the colors, especially different colors, really pop with it. And other cool features on this model here, you're going to see that they have two fuel doors on the outside. That's not an upgrade that people will charge you for where we don't do that. So two fuel doors right off the bat you're gonna get with it. You're gonna get loading lights on the front door and the back door standard. So that's something, especially for if you're driving in early in the morning or late at night, you wanna have those loading lights on the doors. And you always typically load the sleds or four wheelers through the front door and go at the back. That's always the easiest we always find. That way the rear end of the sled is facing the front end of the trailer. So they're sit staggered. Beside me is a 19, this is a 23 foot. We also build a 27 foot or 29 foot. So whether you want two sleds, three sleds, four sleds, we have the trailer to obviously accommodate you. Other cool features on this model that are different from everyone else's is the inside height. It has six inches extra inside height right off the bat. So with the ceiling finished off, you're getting 77 inches inside. So someone like me who's 6'3", I can fully stand up inside the trailers without having to worry about bunking my head there. And if you have a side-by-side -side or let's say um, a taller golf cart, we offer even six inches additional to make it the rear height of that trailer is 78 inches. So 78 inches or 72 inches is the rear door. So that's something that you want to also consider if you have a side-by-side -side or not, uh, or whatever fun toys you're putting inside. Other cool features, aluminum wheels. That's right off the bat, you're getting the wheels, they're not charging you extra. A lot of companies will be like to show you pictures of aluminum wheels and then they'll charge you extra, not us. At the end of the day, people are always talking about the stickers on the side of the trailer and you're paying extra for those. So whether XYZ brand, they'll say, well, you know, it's worth it. Well, what's worth it? That's the whole thing. That's why I'm trying to explain to you the differences. A lot of companies will have a huge profit margin in their trailer and be like, well, you need to buy this trailer because it has this sticker on it. It's so much better. Well, what makes it better? That's the whole thing. Construction is one. They could obviously aluminum frame, but also having something that's stout construction. You want it robust. These trailers behind me have 16 inch uncentered construction right off the bat. That's 16 inch uncentered on the floor, walls, and ceiling of the trailer. So that's huge of having that. It's very important, especially when you're taking your trailer off the beaten path of the road and you're going out in the trails with your toys and stuff like that, you want something that's strong. And that's what I try to emphasize to our customers is you get what you pay for. And not only that, with our pricing point on these distributor pricing that we have, we have the bottom line price off the bat. That's what's cool in these units. Let's go inside. You'll see these are drive-in, drive-out models. Automatically on the front couplers, before we go inside, actually I'll point out that they're two and five sixteenths, not just a standard two inch ball, and they're a corrosion resistant Demco coupler we use. The nose, you'll see it tapers down on the front, that's gonna give you better fuel economy. Having that tapered nose also puts downward force on the tongue, preventing sway, and not only that, fuel economy is a huge feature nowadays with everything. So a lot of trailers you'll just see have a front ramp door, but it doesn't taper down, it just goes like this. So having this taper contour there will help with fuel. 
Mentioned loading light here. We're gonna load the sleds or toys from the front all the way back. That's what we recommend. Inside, you'll see this cabinet. It's a really cool cabinet. Push lock to open up with a gas shock to hold it. You can put all your toys inside, whether it be helmets or gear or anything like that. Um, even got a cool little coat rack underneath there just to hang up your gear at the end of the day. This model has an extra six inches of height added to it. And you'll see inside, you're like, wow, this is a really cool trailer. It's got white walls, white ceiling, nice little trim package. This is built in the price. So we're not charging extra for this. This is all built in these models. You get it standard. You can even change the color trim inside if you'd like. Side door comes with a flush lock that we can have access in and out of the trailer. Makes it nice and easy there too. Inside, you'll always get a kick panel inside. Lights, you get a couple large LED lights inside the trailer, as well as the exterior. As I mentioned, LEDs are kind of standard nowadays, but we put a little bit larger interior dome light rather than your standard. A couple crossflow vents uh, inside for air circulation standard too. You'll notice even the spring covers are covered up. Some of the companies out there, again, they'll have interiors finished off, but they won't cover the springs, so they're just exposed. So it gives you a nice look to it. Back of the trailer, you're gonna see there's reverse lights standard in the trailer. Not always uh, do trailer companies have reverse lights built into their trailers, so that's a really cool feature. And even inside the trailer, a lot of companies always forget tie downs. That's right, tie downs. There's nine of them recessed in the floor right off the bat, because legally you need to have tie downs to be able to strap down your equipment. So a lot of companies will neglect putting it in or have to charge you extra. Not with us, not this model. It is built in with it. A really other cool feature I love is this spoil in the back really separates, again, these trailers from other trailers in the market. The two loading lights in the back with the wall switch there, just again, help that at nighttime when you're loading. And then just overall cosmetic look of it, again, just sets it apart and that's what you want. You, you know, now you're driving a sled trailer or whether you wanna have ATVs inside of it, lawnmowers, guys with construction love this too because it has a heavier construction frame than most of the cargo trailers out there in the industry. So it's really a multi-purpose trailer that looks really sharp. And again, it's customizable as far as colors on the outside, but what you see, everything we're showing you is all built into the price of it. You're not paying extra. Here you can see the flooring we use is an engineered Drymax flooring. So it's engineered wood, it's moisture resistant, has a bunch of glues and resins in it. A lot of trailer companies use it and it's a great floor. We do recommend if you're using this for sleds to put uh, ski glides and traction mats on the doors itself. You can put them throughout the trailer, it's always a good idea, but definitely the doors are a must, just that way it's protecting especially when you're giving it gas up the front of the on the trailers or the front door or the back door it's going to spin the tracks and it's going to eat into the wood another feature that to look at is this flap some trailer companies won't come with a flap right in their trailer price they'll charge extra or they'll have a, a piano hinge right on the top here that piano hinge if you have a snowmobile that track's going to hit it and it's going to rip it apart so that's why you can see there's no hinge which is nice it gives you a nice clean again aesthetic look but mainly it's usability wise, it's not gonna be it torn up with a snowmobile or even other types of equipment there with it. So to wrap up today's tutorial, the bold differences what our product has is right off the bat, the blackout package that we talked about. We have the additional six inches of height that you're gonna get, the robust construction of 16 inch on center all the way around, the loading lights on both doors, the spoiler at the back that sets it apart from other trailers, custom two-tone colors or one tone with a slash that is all built in the price aluminum wheels you're going to have the two fuel doors right off the bat too nine recessed 2500 pound d-rings that are built in the floor and the custom interior finish of white walls white ceiling the cabinet the garment hanger the upgraded trim all that comes standard with these models so guys i just hope you do your homework that way you can understand like i mentioned these trailers are not the same as everyone else's. You can check out more information online at www.actiontrailers.ca. Go under build a trailer, you'll see pricing of the sizes, more specs and the measurements, that sort of thing. There's really not too much more to really add onto these models as we kind of discussed today. They come the way you see it, but better yet, come out to the dealership. But thanks for tuning in. And at the end of the day, this is a trailer I definitely recommend with friends or family, and I'd recommend to you as well.